Well, there's a new version of Caden Live out. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this is actually one of the most uh, interesting releases of Caden Live that I have seen ever. And uh, so let's just go over them and and see what this actually means for people like me who use Caden Live as their primary video editor. One of the things that's really interesting about this is that there are now built-in um, like viewing modes. Uh, it's really hard to see here. I don't know why this isn't working. Uh, I've tried changing the color theme to many different types of colors and um, none of them work, but <laughs> it's probably because I'm running uh, GNOME and this is a KDE, a KDE app. But uh, here we have uh, five different modes for Caden Live uh, to view the your stuff in. Uh, this is the logging mode. This lets you uh, just preview like your um, your footage. This is the video that I edited uh, last week. This is the uh, Librem Five review video, and you can see I'm I'm like looking. I can scrub through my uh, my video here, and I'm playing the game. I could uh, do like. I for an in and then O for an out. And then later on when I'm actually editing my video, I can just hit the V key and it'll insert at the playhead this in and out point into the uh, into the playhead or into the timeline. That's not new by any means, but this uh, this new display mode makes it a lot easier and simpler to uh, to switch between workflows while you're editing. And uh, I might actually end up using this a little bit more often. Uh, but this is the this is the logging mode. So you can go in here and you can uh, edit uh, project notes uh, P105 0142 at like one minute and 24 seconds. Right. That's pretty cool. You can just do you can like leave notes for yourself. You can leave markers here on on the clip. So interesting moment. And then uh, and then there's an interesting moment there on your timeline. That's not new either, but again, this this view makes doing that so much simpler. So in this mode, you can preview all of your clips in your uh, project bin. So, you know, some Zelda sound effects. Why not? I like sound. I like Zelda sound effects. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, but you can also like watch all your video clips. Um, you can see here, this is the raw audio. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Librem Five fanboy, Gardner. And uh, you can see these are project clip. Uh, these are uh, proxy clips as well. You can disable proxy clips and see the actual footage. Uh, and I'm I'm also rendering my uh, preview at 540p rather than one to one because it's kind of a waste of resources to render it at uh, full resolution when you're editing. Um, 540p will uh, it makes editing 4K footage so much simpler. Uh, like uh, I've you can see, like when I. Uh, if I set this to one to one, it starts to chug really quick. The Libra Five here in my hands. It's dropping frames. And it's no good. So 540p is really. And uh, nice. this is the. Uh, but let's move on to the next uh, setting. This is editing. So here you can see the clip monitor, the uh, effects st and composition stack, and your library. Uh, but then you have project notes, and you have the project monitor, which displays what's going on down here. Typically when I edit, I like to have this full screened uh, in the task and uh, on my other monitor. So I'm watching it in full screen on my second monitor and over here I'm doing all my edits. But you can see like because I don't have the proxy clip enabled, listen, listen to this. I, I don't have the proxy clip enabled and I have and I'm also doing a color correction on the on track one here. So you'll see that it's it's actually starts to chug really, really quickly. Let's uh, scale this. Love web browsers. I'm kind of a geek, especially dropping a lot of frames. It, uh, it's just, it's kind of a mess. So I always have proxy clips enabled and I always render my, uh, you can see the difference in color correction here. Like I just got done running a marathon <laughs> or something. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. The other, one of the nice things about recent 
uh, releases of Caden Live is the audio mixer here. And I like where they've moved the audio mixer. It usually stays down here next to the timeline. You don't necessarily need the whole timeline to go all the way across your screen. And I feel like this is a good compromise, is a good placement for it. But again, this is where you do most of your actual editing. So, you know, if I wanted to uh, make a cut here, I would push X on my, uh, on my keyboard. It puts my cursor into cut mode. Then I can click wherever I wanted to cut uh, and I can push S to go back into selection mode and I could delete with the delete key. And I've grouped these clips together. You can see here if I do control shift Z or I'm sorry, control shift G, then uh, the, this is the original uh, uh, clip and this is the audio I recorded from the microphone. Uh, and so I actually like line them up and control G so they're grouped together. And then you can just go in and make as many cuts as you want wherever you need to and one cut will cut all three clips and then if you wanted to close the space you could push m and uh, move it put your cursor into move mode and then you can move all the clips to the right of the uh, of the cursor and uh, you can just move them all down uh caden live is fantastic it's one of my favorite applications on linux uh, but that's that's the video editing. This is kind of like the the generic like stock uh, Caden live UI layout. So uh, we don't need to spend a whole lot of time here. What's interesting here is we have the audio mixing section and this is where things get really interesting. So you can see here we have our effects. Um, we have our uh, effects stack uh, and then we have um our audio mixer here, as well as our audio spectrum, uh, which is just fantastic. Uh, this is one of uh, the coolest uh, new additions. And it works fantastically. Having a full-fledged web browser on the Librem 5 makes a world of difference. So what if, if I wanted to do something here, if you can see that the audio is peaking uh, uh, around things, negative but, uh, two decibels, uh, it it but peaked up into zero, uh, but this will let you adjust the the audio for the track. Uh, so you'll see Firefox. it's clipping now. It doesn't sound very good. Um, and it works. But you can also do like any kind of audio correction stuff. So you can pan. Um, there doesn't seem to be. There doesn't seem to be a. Uh, any kind of like equalizer gain mute normalize pan um but yeah basically you can drop these uh you can see if i click on this this track down here i can drop in a volume uh you can see if i click on this track here i can actually drag uh like a pan in here and we can pan to one side or the other, and this should come out of the right ear. It's not quite optimal yet, but you can watch YouTube videos. That's Firefox, not working. Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong track, of course. Having so let's drop a, a pan in here. Web browser on the Librem Five makes a world. I'm still on the wrong track. How did I manage and that? I mean, it's to the point pan. Where, uh, it feels 200% more useful to me to have Firefox on the Librem Five. It's no secret. I don't understand. Most of my life in a web browser. Uh, <laughs> I love web browsers. I'm kind of a geek, especially about Firefox. There we so go. Having it here is really, really nice. Fosh now features right. screenshots of the open applications uh, in the task switcher. This is cool, but it could also be a oh, see. problem. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to disable that if you're installing like a, a package. Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. That's we'll not working properly. Uh, um, however, you can I'm also do also like normalize, which is going to make it sound kind of weird. Use, like, Expose mode or the open applications mode uh, that comes built in. You can mute phone. the track. Uh, maybe it's so now there's no audio. Um, but yeah, this is this is cool. Uh, this is one that I'm probably not going to use that frequently, just because uh, this audio mixer suffices for me, uh, and that usually sits on the right side of the timeline, so I can just uh, do that pretty simply. The next new view that we have is effects and uh, effects is rather useful. Um, I, I tend to just drop 
in effect on the uh, editing timeline. But this lets you uh, have a little bit more granularity. Uh, you can see I'm selected on track two here. I can go to track one. You can see that I have a saturation applied to track one. Um, this is so that I can do color correction. And I mean, this is fine. This works. Again, I probably won't use this one very much. I think the one that I'm going to use the most is going to be the color correction. You can see that there's an RGB parade as well as a vector scope, and there's also a histogram down here. Um, the histogram is one of the more useful items. So you can see if I click on this. It's opened and Firefox is now available on the Librem 5. That's fantastic. That is like one of the coolest things about the, the this device. One of the things about color correction is like when colors look weird, it's generally because there's an imbalance between um, in, between your colors. Now I'm by no means an expert on color correction either. So take what I say with a grain of salt. Basically what I do for my videos is I just reduce the saturation because my camera oversaturates everything. Um, and when I drop the footage in here, it is just oversaturated. I don't know why, but Caden Live defaults to 125% saturation. Uh, like if I just drop, uh, this color correction, uh, saturation into the timeline here, you can see that it defaults to 125. And so I just reduce that down to a hundred. I'm not sure if that's a glitch with my camera or, or a problem with, uh, Caden Live. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, might be a color space issue. I have no idea. Uh, but that's what I end up doing. And sometimes I just forget to do that. Hopefully now with this panel layout system, uh, I'll be reminded <laughs> to, uh, to, to drop in the saturation. Uh, but you know, I, I might actually end up learning a little thing or two about color correction as well, because this works pretty great. Uh, I like this a lot. You can actually use something like levels here and uh, change the black level. But uh, I think what we actually want to do, that should be zero, I believe. Yeah. What we actually would should probably do is lower this down so that the highlights are towards the right on the histogram. Yeah. I wonder if we get rid of the saturation. No, that makes it worse. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. If you guys know anything about color correction or want to point me in the right direction, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is cool. Caden Live is awesome. Um, I really enjoy uh, how far along Caden Live has come since I've been doing my channel. I've been doing my channel for almost six years now, and um, Caden Live's been really the only video editor that I've used on the channel. And uh, that's pretty fabulous. The the one big issue that I have is why is this like this? I don't understand why these buttons like have text, but in such a ugly, awful off color, um, or why the background doesn't match. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your guys' viewership as always. Uh, if you like what I do, if you believe in what I do, you can help support the show over on Patreon. There's now also a LibrePay, which is an open source alternative. I want to thank everybody on Patreon who makes this show possible. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So Patreon just rolled out a new feature uh, called annual subscriptions. And if you go over to uh, my Patreon right now, you can get an annual subscription to the show for 16% off, so the, almost two months worth of uh, time off. If you want to support the show, head over there, get an annual subscription. It makes a huge difference. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, as always. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.